Right now, we are in the middle of the coronavirus outbreak in the United States. I'm in New York City, and we're still pretty much locked down here. One of the things I've been doing, almost unintentionally, is reflecting on everything that's happened and all the changes that have happened, and trying to find a silver lining in the middle. I've used this strategy, and I hope you guys will try it too. It's not perfect. Obviously, there's still some days where I feel really unmotivated and really angry uh, or really overwhelmed, but I think as a long-term strategy, this has worked. You first name three things that have changed in your life. Then you name three things you have done about it. And then you name three things that you have learned to appreciate because of everything that's happened. Well, the number one is there's so many events and appearances that we had planned that have now been either postponed or canceled. And I'm sure that, that you guys share that, that there are tons of things um, that you plan to attend that have been moved, like weddings or uh, you know bachelorette or bachelor parties or um, events for work or conferences or travel plans, whatever it may be. I think that's one big thing that all of us probably share is, is having a lot of things changed. The second big thing that's changed for me is that um, my workout schedule has just been totally thrown off, which I think seems trivial, but I think it's okay to be a little frustrated about even the little things that have changed. Obviously, what's going on with this pandemic um, is quite great. There, there are people who have contracted the coronavirus and died. And that is huge for people to lose loved ones and family and friends. Uh, but there are, all, there are other losses and changes that we're experiencing. Just like took it for granted that I could just, you know, mosey on over to the gym and hop on the elliptical for however long I wanted to, whenever I needed to, or take a really quick walk in, uh, in Central Park without fear that I'm gonna contract this this virus that has killed people. The third big thing that's changed for me is that, you know, I'm sort of unable to see my family. I'm staying here in New York. And I think what's been so challenging about not seeing my family is that we have so many birthdays that happen at the beginning of the year. And we have family traditions, we'll get together, we'll, you know, hang out, we'll have cake and ice cream and play board games. Like that was our family tradition and we're missing out on that. Not only not being able to see my family and hug them and talk with them face to face, but missing out on what was a family tradition for us, like celebrating birthdays together. Now I'm gonna talk about three things I've done about it. So I mentioned that there are tons of events that have been postponed or canceled and I've appreciated that the Miss Universe organization and tons of other organizations have tried to be flexible and innovative in finding new solutions so that we can continue to connect with people, deliver our message and, uh, and make sure that, that we're serving the people who we're here to serve. And so there are some events that, that have gone virtual. We're, we're doing a lot of Instagram lives nowadays just to make sure that people know we're here for you. You, you. I hope you don't feel isolated and that we're really like all in this together. Another cool thing that, that Miss Universe has done is started the Universe United campaign so that you guys can share with us what you're doing with your time and we can just continue to try to keep our spirits up by, by not feeling so isolated. I'm happy knowing that we can still help people. The second thing that I've done is trying to find a, a new workout schedule. So my mom is a fitness enthusiast. For a short period of time, we started doing Instagram live sessions. My mom would design a workout or she would call one of her CrossFit friends and have them design a workout for us to do, which for me made things easier because I no longer had like this sort of roadblock in my mind trying to figure out like what do I how do I how do I work out at home scheduling these Instagram lives with my mom where we would lead people in a workout forced me to figure out how I could work out at home and so I appreciate my mom's support um, on that but I've been able to go to Central Park and just wear my mask continue to practice social distancing while I'm there and it just really feels good to just be able to get out of the house and you know, get my heart going, heart rate going a little bit. The third thing is uh, with regard to my family and, and you know my friends that I haven't been able to connect with. Um, so one of the things that my mom did for her birthday is she so wanted to do a group FaceTime. So we've done we've done more and more uh, group FaceTimes with my family so that we can just hang out together and just see each other. And it's given me a sense of, okay, like a sense of togetherness really. So the three things that I've learned to appreciate more. Number one is human interaction because I am, I am an introvert through and through. But I think when the ability to do that is taken away, 
you start to appreciate how much you actually do need it. I, I used to think like, oh my God, I could be by myself for days at a time. And now it's just me and Zozie in the house and I'm always like knocking on her door like, what are you doing? Do you want to have a pizza night or a movie night? Do you want to watch a movie together or like cook? Do you need to eat anything? Like how's things going? Do you want to hang out and talk out your day? The second thing I've learned to appreciate more is just being outside. I'm not an outdoorsy girl by any stretch. But not being able to go outside or having the fear when you're going outside of, of contracting this virus has changed things for me. It's changed my outlook and made me realize how much I actually do like just walking around New York City. The third thing I have learned to appreciate is just connectivity. And I don't mean it in a human interaction sense. I mean it in like a digital sense. Not only in being able to stay connected with people virtually, but also just in having Wi-Fi because there are so many people who don't have it. And I think now learning about the people who don't have it has made me acutely aware of the privilege that I have. That's my three times three. So I hope you guys will do the same and just try to find, like I said, the three things that have changed, three things you're doing about it and three things you've learned to appreciate. It's made my attitude and my outlook um, with regard to getting through this pandemic much better and it's helped to motivate me and keep me from being so overwhelmed. See you guys next time.